Well, this is MATLAB. I want to do a little bit of exponentiation and then radicals. First thing, we'll do some easy ones. 6 raised to the second power. We all know the answer to that. It's 36. That's raised to the 2 power. Now I'm going to take that 36. I'm going to raise it to the 1 over 2 power. What do you think I'm going to get? I'm not going to get what you think. You're going to say, ah, I'm going to get a 6. Not so. I get an 18. Oh my goodness, what happens? <clears throat> System did what I told it to do. Take 36, raise it to the 1 power. That gives me 36. Now, divide by 2. That gives me 18. Oops. What I should have done was I should have enclosed the exponent within parentheses. Now, that is 36 to the 1 half power. I hit enter, and I get 6. Ah. Okay, let's do another example. 3 times 3 times 3. That is 27. 3 raised to the 3 power gives me 27. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. So now I take 27 and I raise it to the... Whoa, I take 27. And I raise it to the, within parentheses, 1 over 3 power. And I will get back my 3. And there it is. What do you know? <laughs> let's do that again. But this time, let's do it with 2. 2, and let's keep hitting S. Yes. 2. Raised to the fourth power. That's 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. And I get 16. Now I'm going to take that 16 and I'm going to raise it to the, within parentheses, 1 over 4 power. 1 over 4 power, and I should get my 2 back. But what if I took that 16 and I raised it to the 0.25 power? Because 0.25 is the decimal equivalent of 1 over 4. What do you think I'm going to get? I get 2. What do you know? That works. <laughs> Okie dokie, that's all I want to talk about today. This is George Bull saying bye-bye.